Well, hi, everybody. I This is Glenn the Geek, and I am here with Reese, of course, the co-host of the Dressage Radio Show for all those years. And Reese and I just wanted to stop by to give you a little look into our last weekend and also what is coming up for the Dressage Show. Hi, Reese. Hi, Glenn. How are you? We got to spend an entire weekend together. I wish it was for better exactly. reason, but... Me too. We flew to Canada and went through mm-hmm. the worst airport in the world. It um, is ranked the word Toronto, worst airport in the world. No, no question, no doubt about it. And I, it, it's funny because I asked Jamie, whose husband is an Air, uh, American Airlines pilot, and she asked him today, what's the worst airport in North America? He said Toronto, immediately. <laughs> So, <laughs> so it's true. It's a terrible airport. Sorry, anybody who likes that airport. It's terrible. And and both Glenn and I have flown a lot, and we got lost multiple times. Like <laughs> it was. We, we're, we're, we're we're world travelers, and I mean, we couldn't find anything. It was bad. <laughs> you know, everybody was nice, but not helpful in the yeah. airport. That's no. for sure. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, like, it was bad. We couldn't find the car. I mean, it was a mess. But we did find the car eventually. So we went up to Guelph, and we uh, we spent all day Saturday with Meredith, Phil's wife, and yeah. we got we had a lovely day. Actually, we we we, did. we, we had a we wonderful did. day with Meredith all day. We shopped. Uh, we went out and saw. A lot of you were asking about Phil's uh, new horse. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. So um, Phoebe, so got when he was a foal and he talked about her on the show. So um, we did, people asked, you know, how Phoebe was doing and Phoebe's great. Uh, She is, um, she's getting ridden by Fiona. So uh, fearless Fiona and uh, she's doing well. She's uh, walk trotting and cantering. We didn't see her ridden. Uh, We actually uh, just kind of missed time wise, but we, Meredith and I, Glenn stayed in the barn. He wasn't going out in the mud. Uh, I took one for the team and uh, went out with Meredith. We, we went and got her and she has a new blankie. And um, Meredith is also a rider. So um, so the, the plan is right now just to let her grow up. She's going to uh, finish training for the month of October, which was Philip's plan as well. And uh, then she's going to go back outside for the winter, which she has been lived outside since till this year. And, uh, you know, Meredith will go visit her and, and watch her grow. Uh, but she's just going to grow up outside this winter, and then uh, she'll come back in the spring, and and she'll get started. Meredith is a uh, um, she's a veterinarian, so uh, and she's she needs an adult amateur friendly horse. So um, you know we'll see how she develops, but we we have some time. So she's a all, cutie all too, well. though I will say she's cute she's as a Dickens. So yeah, yeah, she is, isn't she? And it was it was fun for for us. And then we we met the team at the barn. Uh, shout out to the Sparkle Club. They were lots of fun we had lots of there was some adult beverages involved and, well, and a lot of laugh we learned how they stay warm in canada in the <laughs> winter at the barn we walk into the tack room and there are bottles everywhere <laughs> it's like, it was it was impressive it was impressive for sure i got yeah, to try maple whiskey league. for the first time and i learned you i really it. like maple whiskey mm. you loved it i we almost <laughs> bought it at 3 a.m in the in toronto airport and then we didn't buy it but it was close <laughs> Yeah, so then the next day, Sunday, was was the service, and uh, it was at this barn-looking facility, which I guess is a wedding venue and a, and a funeral venue, and mm-hmm. it looked like a barn. It was absolutely perfect as far as how it looked, and it was on a farm, so that was great. Um, and several hundred people showed up. It was standing room only in there. Yeah, it was. It was. And we actually uh, went to breakfast at Philip's favorite breakfast spot. And I got a picture. It's on my Facebook. We can put it. This is the world's greatest coffee. It was not the world's greatest coffee, but it was a cute place. It was a really local breakfast spot. It was great. And Philip loved sweet things, and he really loved um, French toast. So we had some in his honor, for sure. That was fun. Yeah, he was a French toast fanatic. That came up, actually, he in the service it. a couple times. He did. He loved it. But yeah. th- there were a lot of listeners there, too, that came up yeah. and said hi to us. And many, many, that. many of you listened to a lot of you. We lost count. Listened to the tribute yeah. show we did and apparently liked it. So thank you for, for letting us know. Yeah. That was a, And if you missed that, you can look back in the feed uh, pod, or the dressage feed for a few episodes and you'll see the tribute that we did. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was, you know, obviously, I think we're all still reeling from this. It's it's just, it's still very hard and very sad. 
I think we're still very, very sad, but it was nice to have some closure and uh, it was really nice to be there with Meredith. And, and we had also had dinner with Philip's mom, who's a listener of the show. And um, so that was um, under the circumstances, uh, you know, it was nice to spend some time with them. So um, it was a lovely, lovely service, a lot of laughs as well. And uh, just, just funny Phil stories. And, and Phil was, was quite a character and, and he really, um, gosh, he just enriched all of our lives. So um, it, 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 was, it, it was there and that was the feeling and, the, and he would have loved it. It was quite a party. You know, it was interesting. I didn't realize how much Phil had, I called them dual personalities. He had his dressage personality, and then he had his yeah. party animal rest of Phil personality. <laughs> yeah, which I knew about because, you know, again, we, we really did, um, you know, have, have the pleasure to travel all over the world. And we, we did go to a lot of parties <laughs> together, <laughs> and it was so fun. And, and, you know, I had met a lot of those, a lot of his other friends. Um, we had, uh, cause we went to their wedding and so we had spent the weekend with, with, I was in the boys team, I was in the groom's team, which I actually way prefer over the bride's team. And, uh, so a lot of the guys I had met before and, and it was just fun to see them again, not obviously under those circumstances, but it was nice to see them again. So. Well, it, it, it yeah. was it was perfect. I don't know that it could yeah. have gone any better, actually. Uh, no. You know, considering the circumstances, it was ideal. It was very cold for us Southerners, so that yes, was probably were, perfect like, too. Um, they were laughing. Yes, they were laughing because they weren't at the cold point yet, and we were freezing. No, we were dying. We were dying, and we saw black squirrels. This was actually the funniest thing of the trip. We're driving. Um, Mary doesn't sing us to this lovely town for lunch, and. Glenn and I like screamed because I was like, oh, my God, Glenn, what is that? And it was a black squirrel. And Meredith is like, yeah, what, what color are your squirrels? And we're like, not that color. I have since learned, Glenn, that there are black squirrels also in D.C. It's really? a thing in D.C. So our D.C. listeners, yeah, apparently somebody smuggled them in and brought them to D.C. And they beat up on the, the, the brown squirrels. Wow, I did. Called. I had never. I didn't know they existed. I had never seen yeah. one. They're really cool. <laughs> They're really cool. And we were like, "Oh my gosh!" And apparently, there are white ones as white squirrels. So if you guys hear this and are laughing, Glenn and I were fascinated <laughs> by the squirrels. We were. And then, of course, then we were looking for squirrels. So it was like squirrel, squirrel. It was really funny. Meredith thought we were hysterical. So. Yeah, it's funny. Well, we we want to thank everybody. We want to thank the listeners that came out. Thank you especially to Meredith and also to Phil's mom um, yeah. for, you know, for showing us around and, and spending some yeah. time with us. We really appreciated that. Now, yeah. let's talk a little bit about the future of the show, which um, you've all been hearing. Yeah. You've all been hearing some episodes of uh, Dressage Today's podcast, uh, and I'm sure they're all wondering, is the show coming back? So what what do you want to say to that? Yes. So, um, I mean, everyone's been so kind and, and, um, you know, obviously it's, it's so hard to lose. Um, we joke, Phil was my work husband, you know, we were together 11 years and, uh, um, you know, more than most marriages <laughs> and more than most marriages, actually, that's correct. Uh, Travis and I just had our 17th anniversary, so we still are beating it, but, um, but yes, so Phil, Phil was definitely my work husband though. And, um, so it is going to be a, a transition for all of us. Obviously it's going to be, um, you know, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to coming back. Um, and, and cause I miss you guys. I think that's the biggest thing is that I miss, uh, I miss the show and I miss you guys and I miss all of the people, but I, um, I do want to come back. And I, I told that to Glenn. I said, I really want to come back. I miss, I can't sort of lose this part of my life too. You know, obviously I've lost one of my dearest friends. And so I'm not, I, I can't, I think that's part of it is, is I love our community and, and uh, Paul, our producer, you know, we still check in every Thursday together because we miss each other. Um, so I am coming back. Um, I, I, we also talked about it in the show. Um, the plan is to come back in November and I think we're going to have a couple co-hosts for, for a little bit until we, kind of all settle on the right person. Uh, you know, obviously it's such a, such a hard role to fill. It, um, not, no pun intended actually, but um, it, it really, um, yeah, it's going to be tough, but we have some great people in mind and we've had some really cool people uh, very kindly offer to come on with me for a little bit and I'm going to have to get my sea legs and, and all of that. So uh, that's the plan. 
uh, is to be back in November. And, and to start, we're going to do two shows a month um, just to let me kind of get started again. And, um, you know, Phil and I, we were so used to sharing the workload of it because obviously, like everyone knows, I'm a really active trainer and, and I teach college and I have a lot of other things that I do, which I love also. Um, so we're going to kind of not overload me in the beginning while, and especially while we get the next person onboarded and, and figuring that out. So uh, we're going to do that. We'll enjoy the holiday season. We always have a holiday show uh, and that's coming up. So um, yeah, I think that's the plan. Uh, and uh, I do miss you guys. So I am I am looking forward to coming back and it will be a hard step for me, uh, obviously, uh, but we do need to move forward. And if there's anybody uh, and I, I, I say this to myself, I, you know, the first week I was so sad and I, you know, it was hard to go to the ring and hard to train. And I was like, if there's anybody that would say, I want you to train harder, <laughs> it would be Philip. <laughs> and I, and I do know that. So that's the plan. Uh, like I said, I am actually really looking forward to it. I've, I've missed my Thursdays are just, they're just too quiet. <laughs> Glenn, I'm not used to it. I know you, every Thursday for 11 I, years, you were doing a show. I did a show with Philip. So, uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So All I right. hope everyone's good with that. So yeah, there'll be two episodes a month by Reese and, and mm-hmm. a fill-in co-host uh, for a yep. little while here. And then we'll still do we'll still put the Dressage Today monthly episode out on the Dressage radio show feed as well. So you'll get three episodes mm-hmm. a month, basically, is what it comes yeah, down to. That's the plan. <laughs> and Reese will join us. I wanted to mention this. We're doing our holiday radiothon again this year on November the 26th, which is a Sunday from 3 to 9 p.m. And we're doing it video this year live. Uh, so we'll be six hours live on video. And if you don't remember, the Holiday Radiothon is basically a great big Christmas party that we do for, <laughs> for six hours live. We get some big name guests. We have multiple hosts for multiple shows. And Reese is going to join us in the final hour. We call it the party hour. So a whole yeah. bunch of people are going to be stopping by, and Reese is going to join us, and yeah. we're going to do we're going to do a holiday cheer to fill in that final hour. We so that yeah, we wanted to make loves, sure that happened. That yeah. And he, Glenn, you know how much I love you because there's video, and I I push back everybody on video because no offense. Normally I'm like running in, get a quick shower in my yoga pants, but I am I can't wait. Well, no, to, and do you have an ugly sweater, Christmas sweater? Because oh, it is yeah. ugly oh. Christmas sweater day. Oh. Uh, I, yeah, and I actually just was asked to be a Christmas judge again at, at the local, at our local barn. It's so much fun. We have Christmas um, extravaganza. And uh, so I may have to be on the lookout for another Christmas sweater. Uh, I, may, I mean, okay. I do have a Santa riding a unicorn, which, oh, that's pretty baller. But I may have to, may have to be out, out again looking, so... Well, we'll have more information about all of that coming up as well, and and we'll put a promotion on this feed so that none of you miss Radiothon. It is well worth it. Plus, we give away Mm -hmm. thousands of dollars in prizes that day, so you're going to want to enter for the prizes and join us. And join Reese, especially in that last eight to nine hour on the 26th. (laughs) As we salute Phil, maybe we'll put a little montage together of you and Phil, because I know we have a lot of pictures of the two of you together. So, And we need to find one of him drinking, because he did a lot of that, but I'm not sure we took pictures of it oh i i yeah so uh we i both phil and i are we're are we're pretty personal like on the <laughs> on the drinking and partying they exist uh we just make sure we need one i need concerned. one of him right, of him I'll, toasting gonna, i need one phone. yeah it's probably on another phone but uh yeah i mean we I mean, we went to a rave together i went to my first rave with phil and meredith which they went all over the world to rave and so, I mean, there was definitely, and there are definitely pictures, but we try to keep this, all the photographic <laughs> evidence off any kind of social media. But I'll, I'll look, I'll, I'll, I'll work hard on that. All right. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you all at uh, for the holidays, and we're looking forward to having Reese back. That is for sure. Thanks, Reese, for joining me on the phone tonight. I caught her on her way yeah. between lessons, so I really appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome.